Welcome to the CFEMS Exam Preparation Podcast. In this episode, we'll explore how to evaluate staff competency in information and management systems skills. Evaluating staff competency in information and management systems skills is crucial for ensuring that the IT team and users of IT systems within an organization possess the necessary knowledge and abilities to effectively utilize technology resources. This process helps identify areas where training may be needed, supports professional development, and ensures that technological investments are fully leveraged. Here's a structured approach to evaluating staff competency. 1. Identify competency requirements. Define essential skills. Based on the organization's current and future technology needs, define the essential skills and knowledge areas for different roles. This might include technical skills, such as database management or cybersecurity, as well as soft skills, like problem-solving and communication. Role-specific competencies. Identify competencies specific to each role within the IT department and for key users of IT systems in other departments. 2. Develop assessment tools. Skill assessments. Create or procure assessments that can accurately measure the identified competencies. These might include practical tests, quizzes, interviews, or performance reviews. Performance metrics. Define performance metrics that can provide objective data on how effectively staff are using IT systems. Metrics might include system utilization rates, error rates, or support ticket resolution times. 3. Conduct competency evaluations. Scheduled evaluations. Plan regular competency evaluations for the IT staff and key IT system users. These evaluations can be part of annual performance reviews or conducted at specific milestones. 360-degree feedback. Incorporate feedback from peers, supervisors, and subordinates to get a comprehensive view of an individual's competencies and performance. 4. Analyze evaluation data. Skill gaps. Analyze the data collected from competency evaluations to identify skill gaps or areas where competencies do not meet the required standards. Trends. Look for trends in the data that might indicate broader training needs within the IT department or among system users. 5. Address competency gaps. Targeted training programs. Develop or source targeted training programs to address identified competency gaps. These programs could range from formal coursework to on-the-job training or mentoring. Professional development plans. Work with individuals to develop personalized professional development plans that align with their career goals and the organization's needs. 6. Foster a culture of continuous learning. Encourage self-assessment. Encourage staff to regularly assess their own skills and identify areas where they seek improvement. Learning resources. Provide access to learning resources, such as online courses, workshops, and conferences that allow staff to continuously update their skills. Recognition and incentives. Recognize and reward progress and achievements in professional development to incentivize continuous learning. 7. Monitor progress and adjust strategies. Track training outcomes. Monitor the effectiveness of training and professional development activities by measuring improvements in competencies and performance. Adjust training strategies. Based on outcomes and feedback, adjust training strategies and resources to better meet staff needs and organizational objectives. Benefits of evaluating staff competency. Enhanced performance. By ensuring that staff possess the necessary competencies, organizations can enhance the performance and efficiency of their IT operations. Informed decision-making. Competency evaluations provide valuable data that can inform decisions regarding staffing, training, and technology investments. Employee engagement. A focus on competency development and professional growth can increase employee engagement and job satisfaction. Adaptability. Identifying and addressing competency gaps promptly helps organizations adapt to technological changes and emerging challenges. Summary. Evaluating staff competency in information and management system skills is a dynamic process that supports the strategic use of technology, enhances organizational capabilities, and fosters an environment of continuous improvement and learning. If you found this content valuable, please like, share, and subscribe to Professional Certifications channel.